So can you bring your drone on an airplane? And what about the batteries? Well, the answer is... All right, I'm gonna get into this video real quick here and I'll give you the answer in just a few seconds. But before I do, I just wanna say one thing. Don't just click off this video after I give you the answer and go, well, I can bring my drone on an airplane because Jesse said so. No, uh, -uh no, that is not how this works. If you click off this video after I just give you the answer, you're gonna miss out on a lot of valuable information. And even after I tell you, you still might not be able to bring your drone on an airplane. So back to the main reason why you clicked on this video. Can you bring your drone on an airplane? Well, the answer is yes. But wait, stop, hold up, don't click off this video. If you do plan on bringing your drone on an airplane, here's a few things that you're gonna need to know. Let me explain. First off, this video is meant for US domestic flights only. I can't speak on behalf of international flights because I've never flown internationally. And I figured this would be a great time to make this video because with the holidays coming up, there's gonna be a lot of people doing a lot of traveling. Real quick, I just wanna say I'm gonna be giving you this information from the perspective of a DJI Mavic Mini owner, but a lot of this information does apply to a lot of other drones as well. First thing, and probably one of the most important is, according to the FAA, if you are gonna be traveling with your drone slash drone batteries, you cannot put your drone batteries in a checked bag. I repeat, you cannot put your drone batteries in a checked bag. By the way, if you think I'm full of crap, I'll post a link down in the description that'll take you to the FAA website where it does specifically state that. Your drone batteries must be physically with you, like in your pocket, or they must be in your carry-on bag. You can put your drone and your drone accessories in a checked bag, but you cannot put your batteries in a checked bag. And if you are wondering why, the answer is pretty simple. You see where the cargo is actually stored, like your check bags, it's not pressurized unlike the main cabin, meaning that the temperatures can fluctuate, things can get bounced around, and God forbid the batteries were to have some sort of adverse reaction and they could end up combusting or even spark. Think back to the Samsung Note 7 for a second. That phone was randomly exploding due to battery issues and they ended up having a huge fallout and they had to recall it. So would you wanna risk something like that happening in the cargo area on a plane mid-flight? I don't think so. I don't think so. And to my knowledge, the cargo area is not even accessible by the flight crew, so if something like that were to happen, I mean, I don't even want to think about it, but they wouldn't be able to get to it. However, if you do have your drone batteries at least with you or in the overhead storage in your carry-on, if something were to happen, one, at least the flight crew could at least get to it, and two, they could control it. And in my personal opinion, you shouldn't be putting any of your drone stuff in a check bag because one, it's expensive, and two, it's expensive. Not to mention they can get whipped around pretty good when they're being put onto the conveyor belt to go onto the plane and also when they're being spit out by the carousel. Biggest takeaway, keep your drone stuff with you and keep it safe. Now I personally have the DJI Mavic Mini Fly More Combo Pack and everything fits in this tiny little case. The drone, the batteries, the charging dock, and the remote. It's almost as if this thing was made for travel. Second thing, which is recommended, is to make sure that your drone batteries are discharged or mostly discharged. Let me just say real quick, I could not find this information anywhere on the FAA website. It just kind of seems to be one of those good etiquette practices. And a lot of people say to do this on multiple different drone forum web pages. And a lot of drone pilots will say to do this as well in their YouTube videos, but I couldn't find anything concrete on it. It just seems to be a strong recommendation. But I will say this from experience. The first two to three times that I flew with my DJI Mavic Mini, my batteries were charged to 100%. I just didn't know any of this. And I kept them that way on purpose so that way when I got off the plane and got to where I needed to be, I could start flying as soon as possible. And actually when I went through TSA and security, my bag actually got flagged. And then they took out my drone, they opened it up and they said nothing about the battery levels. And I'll get to why my baggage got flagged in just a second. And just a quick recap, if your batteries are not fully discharged, will that prevent you from flying? Honestly, you should be just fine, but it is still a good practice. Now, of course, if you do have other different drones as well, such as the Mavic Mini 2, the Mavic Air 2, the Mavic Pro, or the Mavic Air 2S, you should be just fine as well bringing your drone and your batteries with you onto the plane as carry-on as well. It's also worth noting that if you do have a bigger drone like a Inspire or a Phantom, you're definitely gonna wanna put that in your check bag. Just make sure you pack it really, really well so it's nice and tight and safe. And don't forget to bring your batteries with you. And for bonus points, before you go on your plane, it never hurts to take a look at your drone batteries. If you see any leaks, any gaps, any puffiness, or any sort of abnormalities with your drone batteries, do not bring them on the plane. So the next topic is, why did my bag get flagged when I went through security? Well, the answer is quite simple, and believe it or not, it really didn't have anything to do with my drone batteries at all. So long story short, last time I flew, I was only gonna be gone for a couple days, and I decided to cram everything into my carry-on bag, including two outfits, my drone, my GoPros, my Sony handheld video camera, a vlogging hand grip with a built-in power bank, a bunch of USB and USB-C charging cords, power adapters, and last but not least, a duplicate remote for my drone. And the main reason why my bag got flagged was because I just had a crap load of electronics jammed into my carry-on bag. The TSA agent then looked at me and said, is there anything in here you want me to know about? And then I just said some clothes, a bunch of electronics, and a drone. 
He then said, drone, that's probably what it was. He then went on to tell me that sometimes if you have a bunch of electronics crammed into your carry-on, it's been known to play tricks on their system. He also told me that next time if I plan on bringing a drone, to treat it like a laptop or a tablet. And by that, I mean he said to just put it in its own separate tote. So, good to know. However, it is worth noting how spontaneous TSA and their security can be, because on the way back, I completely forgot about what happened, and I again crammed everything into my carry-on, and I went through TSA, and I was just fine. So, you never know. Other than that guys, that is my experience when bringing my drone with me on an airplane. And also it's worth noting too that I've flown Delta, Spirit, Sun Country, and I do believe American Airlines as well too. Never had a problem. So if this video helped you out in any way, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And also completely unrelated, if you think Epstein didn't kill himself, then definitely go ahead and smash that like button. And last but not least, if you guys have any questions for me about anything in this video or anything that I didn't discuss or anything furthermore about bringing drones on airplanes, definitely ask me in the comments section down below. I will gladly respond. Other than that, I just want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to check out my video. I greatly do appreciate it, and we'll see you guys on next week's episode. Take care.